Thank indeed. You. Now, as we've heard in the news this morning, 10 years after the invasion of Iraq, the country is anything but peaceful. Bombs have brought chaos to Baghdad and some 60 people have died. Perrine Jado was born in Iraq but lived with her family in exile. They left in 1964. They tried to go back a number of times. The last was after the fall of Saddam. But they were forced to leave again after the devastation of the war. Her mother died in Canada in 2008 and Perrine returned to Iraq to make her first full length feature documentary. Her aim was to find a recording made by her mother of a song she had heard as a child. Well, the film is called Broken Record and will be shown at Real Iraq Festival. Perrine joins us from Edinburgh. Perrine, what did that song mean to you? Good morning, Jenny. Um, the words of the song, Our bird, she drifts away, our eyes gaze the way, with love, his home she dwells, in love, there she stays. Those are, that's a translation, it's a Turkmen song, and uh, my mother used to sing it a lot when I was a child, and I heard it over the radio. So when I lost my mother to cancer, uh, she, had, uh, she had died in 2008 in Canada, as you said, I went back to look for that recording, which was made in the 60s. Um, now, it, it was a recording that your mother had made with your uncles in 1960. How did you begin your search for it? Well, when I when I lost my mother, I felt uh, compelled to uh, try and go look for it. And my father told me, "Yes, you probably can find it." So, um, this the 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 words and the song itself were the initial trigger. But then, when I went to Kirkuk and could not find it, and then went through Baghdad and could not find it either, um, I finally found it in the basement. So for me, it was just trying to figure out what happened to our cultural heritage after um, all these wars. What struck you most forcibly when you went back to Iraq? As a starter, visually it was very shocking because, um, you know, Baghdad used to be a very beautiful city and so was Kirkuk. And uh, what I saw was shocking in that it was those were cities with very shattered infrastructure and the streets had potholes, uh, electricity only came for an hour or two a day. And a country as rich as Iraq is, uh, I found it totally dysfunctional. Um, the other thing that really shocked me was uh, the state that the the women, mostly the relatives and the, the girls that I knew, uh, I found that they uh, they basically were all retreating into the homes. They couldn't do anything and uh, life had become so difficult for them. And what impact had the conflict had on Iraq's musical traditions, which I know was something your your family found very important? My mother comes from a musical family in Kirkuk, uh, and my even my mother's father was uh, a singer, and so uh, she came from a culture, culture, new musical culture. But um, what I found on the ground was uh, a lot of these uh, recordings and archives were missing, and most of the music that was predominant in the uh, in the media was uh, music that was uh, very. Uh, cheap and I don't know how to say it, electronic is, is uh, and it ha I could not relate to it. So I started to look for the archives and uh, I found out that most of the archives in either very bad shape or just burnt and gone. So uh, that was a big shock as a starter, but then uh, also discovering that today the musical scene in Iraq was had changed so much. Um, so, but I think you did meet some young Iraqis who were were trying to restore that old cultural life. What were they doing? Uh, most of the, the musical institutions, like the uh, uh, musical uh, studies and the academy, I found young Iraqis trying to play the old instruments and play the maqam. I didn't know much about maqam before this journey. And uh, having discovered it, uh, it was such a pleasure to, she to see these young 
men and women trying to um, you know bring this uh, culture back and it's it was uh, it was really a, a it's like seeing green shoots in the midst of of concrete so what is the maqam uh, maqam is a musical structure i'm not a musicologist but uh, you know what it's a classical form of music that uh, is is found goes across iraq iran and the middle east and uh, it's they are musical structures that are recognized and the less and less they are used they are being lost and therefore if they're not played and there are no archives of them the fear is that we will lose them and what instruments were these young people playing uh, many instruments mainly the oud the qanun uh, the oud is the lute which is a string instrument the qanun is a flat instrument you put on your lap and you play it has so many in- strings and the joza which is also an important uh, small string instrument so the these are old instruments and the santur uh, these are instruments that are not used in the modern electronic music and uh, seeing them in the institutes was uh, very refreshing. Now, you didn't find the recording that you were looking for, the, the 1961, but you did find your mother's voice. How did you finally find it? <laughs> Uh, well, after looking through Kirkuk, my father was so sure that I was going to find it in Kirkuk. They always played it on the radio. But then when I got there, they said that the hard drive had crashed and therefore they didn't have the recording. So when I went to Baghdad, I found that in the city of Baghdad, even the whole Turkmen culture was not really, people were not that aware of it. But when I found the a journalist who works for the radio station, he told me that he stood there while everything burnt in front of his eyes in 2003. So that told me that you know there was no hope in finding it and I withdrew into the basement of our home and looking through I found so many things uh, one of which was a box of uh, uh, some super 8 uh, images and also some audio tapes and I discovered one that didn't have anything written on it it was a cassette that I had recorded of mummy uh, way back then in the 70s And and what was it like for you to hear her Oh my God! It was. Don't make me go there. I'll, I'll, I'll get the tears in my eyes. But really, it was so refreshing because I. It just like, it was a record and no longer a broken record. Parin Jada, thank you very much indeed for being with us. And you can find details of the Real Iraq Festival 